How will I know if I develop preeclampsia? Besides high blood pressure, other signs and symptoms of preeclampsia include 1. Excess protein in your urine, proteinuria, or additional signs of kidney problems, 2. Severe headaches, 3. Changes in vision, including temporary loss of vision, blurred vision or light sensitivity, 4. Upper abdominal pain, usually under your ribs on the right side, 5. Nausea or vomiting, 6. Decreased urine output, 7. Decreased levels of platelets in your blood, thrombocytopenia, 8. Shortness of breath. Caused by fluid in your lungs, sudden weight gain and swelling, edema, particularly in your face and hands, often accompanies preeclampsia. But they also occur in many normal pregnancies, so weight gain and swelling aren't considered reliable signs of preeclampsia. Is it safe to take blood pressure medication during pregnancy? Some blood pressure medications are considered safe to use during pregnancy, but angiotensin-converting enzyme ACE, inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blockers and renin inhibitors are generally avoided during pregnancy. Treatment is important, however. High blood pressure puts you at risk of heart attack, stroke and other major complications. And it can be dangerous for your baby. If you need medication to control your blood pressure during pregnancy, your healthcare provider will prescribe the safest medication at the most appropriate dose. Take the medication exactly as prescribed. Don't stop taking the medication or adjust the dose on your own. What should I do to prepare for pregnancy? If you have high blood pressure, schedule a preconception appointment with the healthcare provider who'll handle your pregnancy. Also meet with other members of your healthcare team, such as your family doctor or cardiologist. They'll evaluate how well you're managing your high blood pressure and consider treatment changes you might need to make before pregnancy. If you're overweight, your healthcare provider might recommend losing the excess pounds before you try to conceive. What can I expect during prenatal visits? During pregnancy, you'll see your healthcare provider often. Your weight and blood pressure will be checked at every visit, and you might need frequent blood and urine tests. Your healthcare provider will closely monitor your baby's health as well. Frequent ultrasounds might be used to track your baby's growth and development. Fetal heart rate monitoring might be used to evaluate your baby's well-being. Your healthcare provider might also recommend monitoring your baby's daily movements. What can I do to reduce the risk of complications? Taking good care of yourself is the best way to take care of your baby. For example, 1. Keep your prenatal appointments. Visit your healthcare provider regularly throughout your pregnancy. 2. Take your blood pressure medication as prescribed. Your healthcare provider will prescribe the safest medication at the most appropriate dose. 3. Stay active. Follow your healthcare provider's recommendations for physical activity. 4. Eat a healthy diet. Ask to speak with a nutritionist if you need additional help. 5. Know what's off limits. Avoid smoking, alcohol, and illicit drugs. Talk to your healthcare provider before taking over the counter medications. Researchers continue to study ways to prevent preeclampsia, but so far, no clear strategies have emerged. If you had a hypertensive disorder in a prior pregnancy, your doctor might recommend a daily low dose aspirin, 81 mg, beginning late in your first trimester. What about labor and delivery? Your healthcare provider might suggest inducing labor before your due date to avoid complications. The timing of your induction is based both on how well controlled your blood pressure is, whether you have end-stage organ damage, and whether your baby has complications, such as intrauterine growth restriction due to your hypertension. If you have preeclampsia with severe features, you might be given medication during labor to help prevent seizures. Will I be able to breastfeed my baby? Breastfeeding is encouraged for most women who have high blood pressure, even those who take medication. Discuss medication adjustments you'll need to make with your healthcare provider before your baby is born. Sometimes an alternate blood pressure medication is recommended. Early onset preeclampsia is associated with greater disease severity as well as adverse maternal and perinatal outcomes. Moreover, Women presenting with eclampsia during the postnatal period are also at risk of poor maternal outcomes. 
It is critical for women and their families to be more aware of danger signs, but also for lower-level facilities to be able to recognize symptoms early and refer in a timely manner. In order to mitigate adverse outcomes, it is critical for providers to recognize the importance of early screening and history-taking, blood pressure measurement, and consistent and effective management according to international and national guidelines.